So you have a vision, but what's your next vision? What if AI could help you figure that out? Let's do that next. Welcome to the Cozy AI Kitchen. I am here with a really special person, Paola Antonelli. Paola. Hello from the fridge. Hi, hi from the fridge. <laughs> Paula is the person who foresees every design change in the world. And I'm so glad to share with you a little of Paula, who is in the middle of installing an exhibition. So thank you, Paula, for being here. I am I, delighted. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. So Paula, I understand you also like uh, GPT-3, GPT-4. You're like, you use both as well. I use them a lot, but the one that uses them the most is Larry, you know, my husband, who's like a maverick. He basically checks with chat GPT before getting out in the morning. Well, you know, uh, you know, as someone who's been at the forefront of technology, design and culture, um, was hoping that we would like cook together. And you have a famous cooking recipe, I remember, from your mother, <laughs> cook until yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah. Yes. Risotto, but not also the real secret of Italian people that cook is that there's no measurements, right? So it's like uh, to make risotto, you take a pinch of rice for each person plus a pinch for the pot. So I hope you're going to cook AI this way because that's going to make it much more interesting. Uh, yeah. So Paolo has got that, uh, uh, by the way, for you viewers out there, I got to tell you how much it means for Paolo to be here right now. There was a thing where Ted once asked me, what is the most important thing in the world I cannot live without? And that's Paola. So thank you for being here, Paola. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, let's get this thank show going. You. All right. So uh, first off, what we're going to do on the, uh, for uh, Mr. Maida's Cozy AI Kitchen, we get very cozy with different ingredients. This is our most important ingredient. It is semantic. Semantic code, you know, it's just like powerful and glowing, things like that. Uh, we also use conventional code. In Apollo, write software, everyone. So just, we were just very aware too. HTML error, remember that? Yeah, just, just HTML, code. I mean, and that's all. Yeah, I'm not such a big writer. Yeah, but she, I mean, a coder. Okay, and then we have some plugins. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine, we're gonna, we're gonna have a visionary, uh, a visionary plugin pre-prepared out of the freezer. And we're going to add some semantic code for some custom stuff. Whoa, it popped out there. Yeah, and of what course- What is that machine? What is that machine you're using? Oh, well, thank you for asking. It is, mm. uh, it is a, it is a or AI orchestrator. Uh, we're going to use an open source one. Looks monster. like a toaster. Um, yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? <laughs> Isn't it strange yeah. how similar they are? You know, AI has to look like something. We gave it the form of the toaster. We're good. So long as it doesn't fly. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it doesn't burn, burn me. And then um, we're going to use two models today. We're going to use GPT 3.5 Turbo, shiny. And we're also going to use your favorite and Larry's favorite four. GPT 4. GPT 4. <laughs> GPT -4. Exactly. Yes. All right. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is bring up my laptop and we're going to start cooking. Okay, here we're going. Okay, so Paolo, what we have here is a Jupyter notebook that I created. Uh, Paolo Antonelli is design visionary of this century. I could use this last century also, so it's all good. So 1990s and now, okay, so it's a quote by Paola. So Paolo, this quote about styling, can you talk a bit about it? Because it, a lot of people use this. They have it like tattooed and everything. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, it, 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 it's a quote. I don't even know. I'm, I'm so glad that I ever said it. But, you know, my, my big problem is that so many people think that design is styling. So people think that design is styling and design is not style, but rather it is really about sometimes imagining what we all need but don't have yet. Or it's about uh, giving us a way to understand the world better or it's a way to make us sleep better. So no matter what, design is about helping people. And it's about doing mm -hmm. so with elegance and beauty and to give the world something that it didn't know it was missing, right? So that was the part of the quote that people love, that I love the most. But that's really mm -hmm. what it's about. People think that design is about prettiness. And of course, it is about that, but it's about so much more. It's about life. Mm. 
And I like, Paula, that everyone likes her saying, not giving a bleep about the guts. So again, Paula, with her very straightforward <laughs> language of communicating the value of design. So Paula, what we're going to do is, this is the simple recipe here. We're going to use some tokens from the model. And we're going to use a list of past data points. What we're going to do is do something called few shot uh, learning. We're going to go off and uh, grab some configuration. We're going to bring the kernel over. The toaster is coming over. We're now going to bring our model in. Look at that. We're bringing in GPT 3.5 Turbo. Good, I'm learning so much. And then oh, now what we're going to do is good. we're going to use the plugin. Are you ready for this, Paula? Yeah, yeah. We're going to use a crystal ball plugin I wrote just for you because you can always look <laughs> into the future somehow. Um, so this is a crystal ball plugin. What it does is it's for a professional person with this bio and a history of producing this output, suggested next big visionary leaps. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot of semantic code magic, but- President of the United you... States. Oh, pardon me? President, President of the United States. Oh, everyone, that, that's a favorite yeah. <laughs> sort of prompt, isn't it? Uh, but this prompt <laughs> takes, Paula, your bio from the MoMA website and takes your Wikipedia history and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to ask it to use the visionary plugin. What's next? Whoa! -ho. I know. <laughs> so it's processing it. There we go. So it did that. Now, so in the in, in the uh, Mr. Meta's cozy AI kitchen, we like to plate things. Let me put this in a nicer plate. There we go. The future. So. It seems like exploring the intersection of design and emerging tech. Yeah, yeah of course. Environmental course. Challenge. How are you feeling about this, yes, Paula? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm doing all the time. So bring okay. some, yeah, interdisciplinary collaborations, absolutely. Yeah. Putting design education and accessibility, of course. Pushing oh. the boundaries of exhibition design. Oh, hey. my God, all the time. Perfect. So and I'm not going to become president, though. Mm. So I'm going to do more of what I do, huh? So Chad doesn't tell me that I'm going to change careers. Hmm. Well, let's try so, GPT-4 this time. Shall we do yeah, that? Yeah, let's try GPT-4. Let's yeah, start yes. cooking GPT differently is here. More, Let us comment, comment out this woman. line here. There we go. OK, now the new model, ready to go. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull in the plugin, and it's going to Cook away. There, running away. There, it's going, doing its thing. Thank you. Large pre-trained foundation model. So, when did you start using these GPT things, Paola? Oh, it's been a while. Uh -huh. I mean, I've been using I've been using some type of AI, not ChatGPT, for the past two years and a half, and. Um, Chat GPT quite constantly. You know, I'm not good with time, but it's several months. Maybe it's a year. When did you disclose it to the public? I can't remember anymore. It, it, it came. It came out in December, late December, and, uh, and December. So, like, so yeah, that's but, that in December. See, I have no sense of time. I thought it was more than a year. Instead, it's not. Well, but uh, immediately, immediately. Well, your exhibitions have covered all AI stuff for a long time, uh -huh. so that's probably why. This. So this is uh, okay. Okay. What is this is for? <laughs> yeah. Huh. So curating a virtual reality and augmented reality design exhibition. I definitely am more for, for AR than VR right now, unless okay. ChatGPT okay. four can gives me something. But definitely. <laughs> then second, exploring the intersection. Of yeah. Oh, baby. Yes, that's already in the works. Definitely. Then a global design initiative. Oh my God, Chaji before is definitely she's got it because that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, it's my uh -huh. secret plan. Curating uh -huh. an exhibition on sustainable and eco-friendly design. Done, done. Sorry, done, and continue doing that, it. But that. you know, she she really, but she got it right. Um, and then design and space exploration. <laughs> yes. Definitely. I mean, uh, it's always in the back of my mind, but I, I have a, a philosophical attitude towards it, which is um, exploration, not colonization. So I'm looking at design in space from that viewpoint, which uh, you and I, John, will have a nice conversation about one day. And then design education initiative, um, bringing design education to a wider audience. 
this is maybe the one that I'm the least um, the least sympathetic to, just because I've never been good with education and educating. But definitely, I'm interested in a global audience. So that part of the prediction is right. So yeah, she got it. GPT-4 oh. got it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whoa, this is a key moment right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, got it. people, GPT visitors to the kitchen. Less. Yeah, Visitors' yeah, Kitchen saw Paula anoint GPT-4 as she. <laughs> that was important. No, I'm sorry. GPT-4 is a guy and GPT-4 is, is, is definitely a non-binary presenting as female. Okay. All right. That's mm -hmm. cool. mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. Okay. So, well, you know, uh, there is the field of education and design and Paula has done so much for every type of person, whether they're like a researcher, technologist, politician. So I think the education thing is going quite fine. So have fine. you. So have you. Me, I'm, I'm, you know, so I'm, here, you. I'm here in the have Cosa you. AI kitchen trying to help more people understand AI because it's so confusing. But have you done it for yourself? Um, oh, actually, this is helping me understand AI. Yes, thank you. Because as you know, when you make things, you learn. So... I'm learning definitely. And GPT-4 has made, has looked into the crystal ball for you too? Well, now that I have this, because I custom made it for you, Paola, I'm going to try it out myself. <laughs> what are you going to make for yourself? Um, well, you know, uh, the thing about this kind of AI is you're able to sort of take things you did a lot of and like automate it. So now that we're sort of trying to create the shape of the show, I can imagine that it could help uh, figure out how to write the code that I'm writing myself. Would that be okay? Definitely for sure. But I was thinking of one step further. I'm thinking of your family. I'm thinking of your tradition. I'm thinking of something really tangible and taking much more than intelligence, but rather sensitivity and tradition, which is tofu. So I was thinking, I know. How can AI make tofu for, for you? I mean, that would be such an exercise. What are you doing? What are you, you like the Wait. Idea? I think Paula has called the future episode of tofu making in the cozy AI kitchen. The, oh, my goodness. Well, Paula, thank you for taking time out of actually installing an exhibition, standing on ladders and all that stuff that you do to direct large crews to actually make people understand design. Any final thoughts for, for the people in the you. kitchen? Thank you for letting me cook with you. Oh, thank you. Okay, heart mark, heart mark. Okay, um, everyone, that's Paola Antonelli. You got to see everything she does, every book that she's made. Uh, it's always different. It's actually unpredictable. So she, GPT-4, doesn't really know what Paola's going to do next. Is, is no, reality. No, she got it right. She, was, she remained Hi. open enough, so that's good. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Uh, we're going to keep on doing more AI cooking. And uh, folks like Paula are very rare, so that time, very precious. Thank you. Thank you.